What's up guys, your boy Debbie here, back with another episode of Will You Press The Button? And you already know I've played a couple of these in the past, not too many right now, but I have. Um, let's see. So what this does is that it gives you a choice, it gives you something good, and then you know, it gives you a good, a good option, basically. Your world's best dream, basically. Whatever you possibly want in the world that can be good. But then it gives you another... But instead, when you get this good dream, there's always something bad behind it. So there's a consequence for your action. So it could be a good thing, and then it turns around to be something else. Like for instance, uh, although this one isn't too bad, this one is asking, world peace will be established, but there will be no future conf and there will be no future conflicts between countries. But you must make peace with every enemy that you've made in the past. Which isn't too hard, because I don't have that many enemies. Honestly, I don't think so. As far as I know, I don't have that many enemies. Probably like one or two people that might have hated me from school or something. But other than that, I'll press the button. Yeah, I don't see a problem in that. I don't think that was a good choice. Uh, you, you gain the ability to see the future at will for the rest of your life. The first thing you see is your own death. And whenever you, whenever you, whenever you learn someone's name, you see their death. I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to do that. I will not press that button. I don't, I don't want to see my own death. I don't want to see anyone else's death. I could probably save a lot of people, but I don't want to see someone's death, man. You know the answers to any question in all of existence, past, present, and future, and no one will ever believe you. Ever. So how does that help me then? I don't help anyone by not. I might as well be completely wrong. I will not press that button. It's a good, it's a good question. You gain the ability to speak any language you want. You have this accent so I can't read. I can't read. So I can speak any language, but I can't read. Huh. Well, that's not gonna help me. I will not press the button. Okay. You will have everything. Your life will be. What? You will have everything. Your life will be set. Okay. Does this actually mean that? I think that's what it means. I could be wrong. I think so. Oh god, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Alright, well, let's just move on to this question. Your life will be set. Any realistic dream you, you would imagine will be happening. The earth will erupt from Yellowstone and you will die. Casting into a loop of 24 hour ending with your death. But, 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 I just gained everything I wanted. Why do I just, why do I die? That's not very fair. I will not. <sighs> oh my goodness. Well. Oh well. You ensure the physical safety, financial security, and livelihood of any immediate family member you have. Huh. And you have a 60% chance of dying if you touch the button. Alright, well, if I die, but 60% chance is 60% chance. I got a 40% chance of living. So, if I could secure the financial stability, uh, physical safety, and livelihood of any family member, any family member. It, hold on. So that means that they could have a, like a normal, decent job and um, they, they're safe from all harm. <laughs> I'll press it, because at the very end of the day, even if I do die, if I don't die, then I, I, I have them good for life. If I do die, they're still good for life. Here is my first selfless act for the year. 
pushing that button. Someone says they never touched the button, they clicked it. <laughs> okay, um, will you press the button if you're, and you're able to change your appearance at will, the entire body will change. The process is extremely painful and will take 10 minutes. Of that, extremely painful, I would expect it to be extremely painful. You're shifting your body to look like someone else. Yes. Yes, I will take that. I'll take it. No problem. Alright. You can access the internet using your mind. Maybe by Justin Bieber is playing the entire time you that would get annoying after a while. I could probably take I could probably take just probably a few hours of it, but I cannot take consistent use of that would annoy the crap out of me. Because I mean, you can imagine trying to watch something or uh, try to research something all of a sudden you are know, just hearing baby, 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 oh so, no, no 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 mm -mm. I can't do that. I can't do that. I will not press that button. I will not press that button. Uh good. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. Because I know some people would still do it. You'll be able to make any one person fall in love with you, but you must be the one to end their life. Oh! No! 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 Wait! Hold on. No, I can't do that. Although I could. So basically all that's happening is that I'm just making a person fall in love with me. It doesn't mean that I actually love them. I have to end their life. Because I can be the only person to end their life. So basically if I don't end their life, that means they become immortal. If that's the case, then I'll do that. I'll press the button so the person I don't, if I don't end their life, they're immortal. It was like, could it be like the Walking Dead style? You're really forced to, or just someday I'm gonna have to murder you. But is the situation is that F to get um they're in a situation like uh, they're on their deathbed and you know they're being hooked up to wires and stuff like that there you know when you have to make the decision to pull the plug or not and just leave them there for a little while but I'm gonna say something similar to if I don't end their life they're going to become immortal that's amazing that is an interesting choice I will go with that um, you gain the ability to teleport, you can never bring clothes to your destination. I'll teleport into a clothing store. I will teleport into a clothing store. Because if I am teleporting from to and fro, say like if I, if I have to teleport to work, I'm leaving an extra change of clothes at work, stuff like that there. Or if I'm, if I'm going to like another country, I teleport directly to a clothing store. Or teleport at night, like into a dark area, try to find the clothing store and then teleport into it. You know what? I'll press that button, I'll teleport. Someone says I don't need clothes where I'm going. Is it because I don't see what's the downside to this one? I don't see any downside at all. I can teleport. Who cares? Whatever you want to eat is magically in your fridge. You have to let your mom run your Tumblr blog week out of each month. I don't have a Tumblr blog, so clicking, clearly. I, I don't have a Tumblr blog, so go right ahead, mom. The world will come to peace. To peace? I'm, I'm thinking they want world, they, they're talking world peace, 
as in P-E-A-C-E -E, and people will live with great love for each other. The few will be as respect respected as the many. You have to sacrifice your life by struggling your whole life through, filled with pain and resistance against you ten times over. Man, I... Why have I put myself through... Okay, li listen. I already did my selfless act already for the year. I do not need another selfless act and I already achieved world peace back then. There should, no, there should be no more reason for more world peace. There's already world peace. I don't need to do it again. I don't need to do it again. Let's keep going. Get good grades and have a social life. I want to get three hours of sleep every night. I already do this anyway, so man. Let's keep going. Well, then again, I technically I don't even go to school anymore, so I already I technically have a social life. I go to work. And I don't want to get three hours of sleep, so technically, there's a bunch of dogs are just barking continuously. What the hell is going on? That's ridiculous, man. There's like so much noise outside. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, see, a permanently young and attractive witch will use her magic to do anything even remotely considered work for you and will do almost anything you want. She literally does everything work related so you can't even tell her to brush your own teeth. I, I don't see why we want to, but if she can do stuff for me like, um, I don't know, my actual work, you know? It, it works out. It works out because I don't want her to do anything. I don't want her to do everything for me. I don't need her to bathe me. I don't need her to clothe me. And she can cook. That's that's a, that's a plus. Teleport me places. That works too. You know, the more things, not the nine things. I, I, I need. I can do that myself. I, she can do the more serious things. Yeah, I, I'm gonna press that button. I'm gonna press that button. Uh, you can enter your personal fantasy universe and do anything you wish there. You must kill all your close relatives and friends. Nope! Because it's not worth it. Then if I go into a fantasy game and stuff like that, they're all just going to happen. i probably die to a mob anyway. This is how life works. It's how life works. It's how life works. Mm, someone says press it, you can always get new friend, new family and friends. Ouch. You will be the best writer in the world. You will make typos all the time. This is why I have a proofreader. This is why I have a proofreader. He'll fix all those problems. I have a proofreader. I'll click yes. Someone says that's what proofreaders are for. <laughs> so it's more of an annoyance than a dumb say. You see? That's all it is. You can go to any fictional world you want to go to. Back to that situation. Back and forth anytime, anywhere. You remember nothing from it. So it's like dreaming, basically. It's literally like dreaming, because I know when we go when you dream, some people have the most difficult time remembering their dreams and stuff like that there. Is it when you do remember your dreams, sometimes they're a little weird anyway. So it's like a fictional it's, it's like a fictional world technically. So yeah, I don't see a problem with this. It's dreaming, basically. You get to live in the Pokemon universe, Pokemon die rather than fate in battle. Which is also quite logical because if one gets shot oh kinda ruins the entire vibe of the situation um oh there are because I know the Pokemon Tower means that Pokemon can die because as far as we know Pokemon die in the Pokemon universe to begin with some get old some die because of tragedies and stuff like that the Pokemon Tower is a testament to that but the problem is because of that it seems like humans can probably die as well because if Pokemon die from attacks 
right? Like getting shot, you know, one Pokemon gets shot and it dies because of it. He was like, that means humans can also die because of it, because I think in the Pokemon universe, humans don't actually die from these attacks. So like, I see Ash get shot multiple times, burned to a crisp, completely drenched, almost drowning, you know, stuff like that. I've seen uh, um, Brock has been poisoned at least a couple times. So yeah, it ma it makes sense, it makes sense. But I will not press the button because at the very end of the day, I might wind up dying myself. So I will not. I will not. Okay. Uh, you will get you will be able to materialize things from any reality, including people and entire cities, and the universe will alter itself at will and will be and it will be up to you to deal with anything that may result. So here's the thing. So basically when I materialize anything, the universe will switch it will switch itself. But it's true, but once you alter something in the universe, it switch, materializing that something into the timeline that didn't exist before, it will alter the universe because you literally alter the universe yourself by materializing something in there. It didn't exist before. So you created something. So now the timelines have to alter themselves to correct whatever you have done, basically. So you gotta resolve the problem because you created it in the first place. So I don't find this problematic. I just find it more annoying than anything else because as soon as you materialize something, the universe switches up. So what am I going to do? Fifth is how to create a giant building of sight. Giant building. The, the universe will switch to believe that this building always existed there. It always existed there. So no, then I have to deal with the fact that there is this giant building and everyone already knows about it. So I'm going to press the button. I'm going to press the button. It's not a problem. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. So basically, the downside is reality. It's true because at the very end of it, people will, uh, people believe that that's what it's been. That's what it's always been. All right. So I'm the next one, the last one. You become a genius and create a product that allows you to gain billions of dollars from every year for the rest of your life. You have to donate seventy four percent of the money gained to every year charity, which isn't a problem because if I donate him seventy four percent, that means I'm helping a lot of people. Oh look, a second selfless act. This must be this this must be a sign is that I am meant for great things in life. I press the button. Who knows? Bill Gates. Woo. Why not? All right, guys. Well, that that's a bad question. I'm not even bothering to deal with that. Well, guys, that's it for this episode of Will You Press the Button? I hope you guys liked it. But if you did, smack that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. But thanks for watching, everybody. And see you in the next one. Bye.